Aids and searches that are being conducted in the national capital by the enforcement directorate. This is said to be part of the liquor gate, which is also being uh, investigated by the agency. And there have been certain suspects' roles that has now been found in the scam as far as uh, even when it comes to the chart sheet uh, that has been filed on part of the enforcement directorate against the former Delhi Deputy CM Manish Sisodia. Uh, that will be taken on the 30th of May. So this in the Delhi excise policy scam as far as the Delhi's Rouse Avenue court is concerned which has now further gone ahead to extend the judicial custody of the Ahmadmi party leader and former Delhi deputy CM Mani Sisodia till the 1st of June and with regard we are told that several searches and raids that have been going on and they are said to be in close connection with Mani Sisodia himself and other leaders of the Ahmadmi party so here it seems that there are uh, more uh, twists to this uh, alleged scam that we are talking about, the liquor gate as it is called. Babdosh, good morning. If you can tell us about these raid, aids and uh, searches that are being carried out by the enforcement directorate. Uh, good morning, Amita. Uh, searches are taking place, and uh, it, this is in continuation of the money laundering case uh, that Enforcement Directorate had filed uh, last August uh, in the money laundering case, uh, in the alleged money laundering scam. And uh, the Enforcement Directorate has said that uh, these searches uh, are uh, being carried out in different parts uh, in the capital and also in New Delhi. Uh, Sanjay Singh, in fact, had issued a statement claiming that uh, this is a direct attack on Ahmadmi Party, and uh, because Ahmadmi Party has been a uh, vocal critique of uh, the center and also of BJP and he has uh, linked uh, this uh, with the uh, uh, last week's uh, decision of the center to introduce an uh, ordinance and also the fact that Ahmadi party has decided to boycott uh, the inauguration of a new parliament building. As far as the enforcement directorate is concerned, they have said that some of the persons who are being raided, they have not named them, but some of the persons who are being raided have been, uh, their role have been found mentioned in the prosecution complaint that was, uh, that we have found that were filed previously and uh, the one that would be uh, whose cognizance will be taken on 30th of May. Uh, re uh, remember, um, uh, Manish Sisodia was in fact arrested by the Enforcement Directorate uh, in February and then subsequently a prosecution complaint was filed by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, the Enforcement Directorate did file a prosec uh, prosecution complaint against him, but the cognizance of that prosecution complaint will only be taken on 30th of May. And uh, ED has said that uh, they, they have uh, been carrying out raids and searches since morning, and uh, they have not uh, exactly uh, given in detail as to against uh, which all persons are these raids and searches. Well, you mentioned are being, Sanjay Singh uh, being... there, Bhavtosh, because he's also a member of the Rajya Sabha of the Upper House of the Parliament, and uh, for now he's denied any wrongdoing and has accused the central government of political vendetta. We'll play out his reaction. I Modi Sarkar ki ED ki Tana Sahi or Gundagardi ko pure desk ke samne ujagar kiya. Is baat ka sach pure desk ke samne rakha ki kis tarah se ED apni sanstha ka durupyok karke, apni takat ka durupyok karke, jabar dasti sarab ghotale me logon ko fasane ki kosis kar rahi hai. Or jab unko mere khilaf kuch nahi mila, musse unho ne galti mani. Ab मेरे सहयोगियों के घर छापेमारी कर रही आज सुबह पता चला कि मेरे साथियों के घर पे छापेमारी की गई है मैं ईडी को बताना चाहता हूं किसी भी तरीके से जो भी हथियार अपनाना है अपना लो तुम्हारे सामने ना झुकूंगा ना रुकूंगा ना मोदी सरकार के इस हथकंडे के सामने कोई भी समझौता हम लोग करने वाले हैं आपसे लड़ेंगे आपको उजागर करेंगे पूरे देश के सामने ईडी का किस तरह से दुरुपयोग हो रहा है इसको उजागर करके रहूंगा भले ही सर्वोच्च न्यायालय में जाना पड़े उच्च न्यायालय में जाना पड़े इस दादागिरी और तानाशाही के खिलाफ अपनी लड़ाई जारी रखूंगा आज सुबह जानकारी मिली कि मेरे साथी अजीत त्यागी सर्वेश मिश्रा इन लोगों के घर पे छापेमारी की गई है ईडी के द्वारा ये जबरदस्ती की तानाशाही और गुंडागर्दी जो मोदी सरकार के इशारे पर ईडी कर रही है मैं साफ तौर पर कहना चाहता हूं आप सारे हथकंडे अपना चुके मेरे खिलाफ आपको कुछ नहीं मिला अब मेरे साथियों के यहां यह कार्रवाई यह प्रताड़ित करने की कोशिश इसको कतई भी बर्दाश्त नहीं किया जाएगा और इसकी लड़ाई अंतिम दिन तक लड़ेंगे well, that is Sanjay Singh there because Akansha, he has been saying as far as the enforcement directorate is one of those several agencies that have been accused by the opposition parties, mainly by the Aam Admi Party, of being misused by the central government to target its critics and its rivals. But here is the Aam Admi Party leader and Neta here who is giving out this out and out dare uh, to the central government and accusing it of misusing such uh, 
central agencies against them because Sanjay Singh, uh, who is also the Aam Admi Party MP, has denied any wrongdoing and has accused the central government of political vendetta. This is also coming in the line by Delhi's former Delhi Deputy CM Manish Sisodia is among those who have been arrested in the case. However, we are told that uh, today's raids that are being carried out and searches that are being carried out, as you heard from the Aam Admi Party MP himself, has been saying that uh, has been against his aides and his party workers and supporters. Uh, he took the name of the two individuals there. However, as far as if they are linked to the liquor scam or not, that is something that the Enforcement Directorate with its ongoing searches will tell us. Because uh, in the latest development that has now also taken place in the courts, uh, the Delhi's Rouse Avenue Court, which has extended the judicial custody of the Aam Admi Party leader and the former Delhi Deputy CM, uh, Mani Susodia, till the 1st of June. This morning, uh, ED continued with its searches and raids as part of the alleged liquor scam and the suspecting the role of uh, that has been found as far as uh, mainly when it comes to those aids of uh, the Aam Admi Party leaders. This is what Sanjay Singh also had to say in his reaction that we just played out where he goes on to say that they are now being politically targeted as uh, the central agencies are being misused, Akansha. Uh, well, absolutely. As far as this case is uh, concerned, it appears like ED is tightening the news around the Aam Army Party. I'm currently standing outside the residence of Sarvesh Mishra, where the ED raids are currently underway, and uh, he's been asked uh, uh, about the documentation uh, and other uh, things. Uh, he claims to be the PS of uh, Sanjay Singh. His LinkedIn bio mentions that he is the PS to Sanjay Singh since 2018. From the last five years, he's the PS of uh, the Aam Army Party MLA. Uh, other than that, uh, raids are also under way at the residence of Ajit Atyagi is what we're being told. This is in connection with the liquor policy case. Remember, ED is going to uh, file a charge sheet on May 30th in uh, connection with this case, but currently the raids are underway. The, the location uh, where I'm currently at is VP House here in the national capital. In the heart of the city, uh, these raids are currently underway on the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, on the close associate of uh, Sanjay Singh, the Aam Aadmi Party uh, MP. All right, but Akansha, with these ongoing raids that have been taking place, are they anyway linked to the liquor scam as being suggested by the Aam Admi Party Neta Sanjay Singh himself? We heard his reaction saying that because nothing was found on him, his aides and close associates are being delib deliberately targeted. Uh, well, absolutely. Sanjay Singh has... Sanjay Singh has come out and uh, said that uh, since nothing was found from him, uh, his close associates are now being targeted. Uh, they are being harassed. Uh, one of them is Sarvesh uh, Mishra and his house, uh, this is his house, 505 at uh, VP House in the National Capital, where the raids are currently underway. And as you saw, he tweeted right after the raids had started. He said that uh, uh, since nothing was found against him, uh, now his close associates are being targeted. Uh, we, we are getting to know that this is in relation with the liquor policy case. Okay. Time and again, uh, CBI as well as ED has been tightening the news on the Aam Aadmi Party leaders as well as the close uh, associates as far as this case is concerned. Akansha, for the moment, thank you very much for joining in live. So Akansha getting us those live updates as far as the ED raids and searches still continuing and the Aam Aadmi Party once again has been crying political vendetta.